Anyone choosing a CRM right now has a tougher job than ever. Platforms have evolved from simple contact databases to complex systems that drive revenue and automate your operations. Add to that today's pressures like AI and customization demands, and it's not an easy decision. So how do you choose the right CRM? That's where this video comes in. By the end of it, you'll have a clear set of CRM requirements to guide discussions, questions that can uncover what your team needs, and a free template to align everyone's priorities. Before before we dive in, a quick thank you to our sponsors. This video is brought to you by several CRM leaders, including our title sponsor, Insightly, as well as Sales Outlook, Brevo, Copper, and Leadmaster CRM. What a stellar group of platforms. You can learn more about each of them through the links in the description and stick around to the end for more helpful resources. All right, let's get into it. SelectHub has onboarded over 100,000 users into our software selection platform, and that's given us a ton of insights into CRM buying patterns. We're gonna cover seven steps for how to do a proper CRM evaluation and 15 functional requirements you'll wanna consider. First, seven steps for how to do a proper CRM evaluation. Step one, define your business model and go-to-market motion. Don't start with features, start with how you sell. Your go-to-market motion should dictate your priorities. For example, if you're a sales-led or marketing-led organization, you'll likely prioritize things like pipeline management, opportunity tracking, and campaign attribution. But if you're a product-led company, you might prioritize user behavior tracking, in-app engagement, and conversion insights. Or if you're partner-led, you might prioritize partner performance and deal recognition. Or if you're a field service, you might prioritize mobile access, offline sync, and data capture. There are dramatically different options depending on what you prioritize, so get clear on your GTM to establish a starting point. Step two, map your operating complexity. Are you a five rep startup with one pipeline or a three region sales team with layered territories and SLAs? You need to identify number of business units and regions, deal complexity, compliance needs, HIPAA, GDPR, SOC 2, etc., and volume of touch points and data sources. These determine whether you need a lean, out of the box CRM versus a more enterprise grade platform with custom workflows, automation, and integrations. Step three, identify your jobs to be done. Use the jobs to be done framework to prioritize functionality, not features. Ask your team, what business problems are we solving? What workflows are broken today? What will success look Look like after 12 months. For example, we need better forecasting accuracy or we have no visibility into where leads are dropping off. Then match each job with potential CRM capabilities. That will give you a clear set of questions when doing demos with vendors to make sure you're getting everything you need. Before we move on, a quick shout out to our title sponsor, Insightly. Insightly is one of the most flexible, affordable CRMs out there. Compared to legacy CRMs, it keeps the total cost of ownership low and it's incredibly customizable. You don't need a team of developers to tailor fields, workflows, or layouts, which is why Insightly wins with sales-driven organizations and verticals like manufacturing, construction, professional services, solar, and more. And if you're thinking, what about AI? Insightly's co-pilot is designed to help with CRM adoption and keep teams engaged without forcing new habits. Thanks to Insightly for supporting this series and check them out through the link in the description to take a closer look. All right, back to the evaluation steps. Step four, understand your internal tech maturity. A platform is only as powerful as your team team's ability to use it. Do you have a sales ops or rev ops team? Do your reps follow process or freewheel it? Do you have engineering capacity for integrations? If not, are you able to budget those things going forward? If you don't have ops or technical resources, lean towards CRMs with guided setup, no code automations, and native integrations. If you have a mature team and dev resources, you can explore APIs, custom objects and modules, and deeper integrations. Step five, align stakeholders early. CRM touches everyone. Sales, marketing, customer success, finance, even product. Before evaluating vendors, we recommend run a discovery workshop across departments, create a shared list of use cases and KPIs, appoint a cross-functional CRM steering committee. This prevents adoption gaps, costly missteps, and post-purchase regret. Step six, budget beyond license costs. Your CRM license is often only 40 to 60% of the total cost. You also need to factor in implementation and onboarding, training and change management, ongoing admin and support, add-on modules or third-party tools, API integration development, and potential data migration and cleanup. For example, a $15,000 per year CRM may actually cost 40 to $60,000 in total. Go through the investment with finance and make sure all sides understand the fully loaded costs. 
And finally, step seven, shortlist by category, not brand. Rather than starting with, is CRM X better than CRM Y, map your needs to categories like company size, vertical, and any required specializations. See our other videos on best CRMs by company size, verticals, and use cases. This will give you a better idea of who to consider. In addition to these seven steps, we've also put together a list of the top 14 functional requirements for how to choose the right CRM. These requirements are fairly common, but some may not apply to everyone. Download the full list with details for each one through the link in the description. You can also access the Select Hub platform to go through CRM vendors in extreme detail to compare 100 plus features and see how they stack up. Again, links in the description. Lastly, here are five common pitfalls to avoid when choosing a CRM. Number one, choosing based solely on brand. Just because a CRM is well known doesn't mean it's well suited to your specific business model or workflows. Number two, overlooking SLAs. Downtime doesn't just impact your team, it erodes customer trust and disrupts revenue critical operations. Number three, not speaking to two or three reference customers. Without peer feedback, you're relying on sales pitches instead of real world validation. Number four, overbuying complexity. A bloated system leads to poor adoption, higher admin costs, and teams reverting to spreadsheets anyway. And finally, number five, assuming AI features are magic. Even the best AI tools will fail if your CRM is filled with bad data, spotty inputs, and disconnected workflows. There you have it, an overview of how to choose the right CRM. One more big thank you to the CRM sponsors who made this series possible, including our title sponsor Insightly, as well as Sales Outlook, Brevo, Copper, and Leadmaster CRM. All of these bring unique value depending on your sales model, tech stack, and team size, and we've included links to them in the description. That's it, that's all. See you next time. Cheers.